In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today, a, re- a reflection. Let's start by reading from the Gospel of Saint John. It was the preparation day of Passover, about the six hours, and he said, uh, and Pilate said to the Jews, "Behold, your king." But they were crying out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The high priest responded, We have no king except Caesar. Therefore he then handed him over to them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. And carrying his own cross, he went forth to the place which is called Calvary, but in Hebrew it is called the place of the skull. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one of each side, with Jesus in the middle, and standing beside the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister, and Mary of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. Therefore, when Jesus had seen his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Next he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple accepted her as his home. After this, Jesus knew that all has been accomplished. So in order that the scripture might be completed, he said, I thirst. And there was a container placed there full of vinegar. Then placing a sponge full of vinegar around hyssop, they brought it to his mouth. Then Jesus, when he had received the vinegar, said, It is uh, consummated. And bowing down his head, he surrendered his spirit. There is three things in our life that that we need the mercy of God. That it is hard for us to be completely free from it and to wince those three difficult, difficult issues in our lives. The first one, we already had a reflection in previous reflection that we had yesterday. Next issues, issue in our life that it's hard to uh, deal with is a suffering. Very often the people uh, rebel against God because of suffering in this world. In this year of mercy, we are called to reflect on it. And Jesus came to this world, as someone said, not to take away, not to completely 
deliver us from the suffering. He comes to this world, he came to this world to teach us how to suffer. In this gospel that we read, we experienced that. And during the Holy Week, on Friday, we will reflect about more profoundly uh, during the great Lent in Catholic Church and also we come to pray the way of the cross to stay with Jesus in his suffering because we understand that Jesus came to this world to experience whatever we are experiencing, to experience even um, our sufferings. Once I was reading, uh, I read about that suffering that Jewish people experience uh, experienced during the Second World War, and that author is writing that Jewish rabbi, they gathered together to make a judgment, to judge the God, because they suffered so much, uh, and God did nothing. They judge him that he is responsible, he is convicted of all those suffering that they were going through. I think they didn't, didn't know uh, a Jesus. They didn't know a son of God who didn't reject the human suffering, but he took on, him, on, on him, uh, himself the suffering to tell us that he deeply understand what we um, are going through, what we are experiencing. He wanted to see with the same eye as we are seeing, to feel everything, to be compassionate with us, for me, it's really hard to, as a priest, and I'm coming and seeing some people who is suffering uh, so horribly. For me, it's really hard to give them consolation. But I'm telling them, I don't understand you. To understand you, I, I have to go through uh, that suffering that you are going. But there is someone who completely understands you. That is Jesus. Because he suffered, he knows what that means to suffer. In Jesus, we, we see that God is going with us and standing on our side, in our own uh, suffering. Next issue that it's hard for us to go through is a death. There's some fear that in death there's no God. That God doesn't know what, what does it mean to die. And when we look at cross and we stand beside the cross of Jesus as his mother stand, stood with disciple, with other women, and those who were faithful to Jesus, uh, even to his cross, even to his suffering and even to his death, 
they were faithful uh, to him. And an another issue in our life that we are powerless is a death. Whatever the humans can do, it's hard to deal with it. We cannot conquer it. As much we desire the life, but death is so real for us. We can think that there's no God if death exists. Biblically, we know why death come to existence. But anyway, we feel that powerless to conquer it we cannot do by ourselves. And that hard for us to experience, experience it. Jesus came to this world and he uh, said to us, if someone would like to follow me, he has to take his cross and follow me. And where we are following a Jesus, we are going, even we are participating in our own suffering, but we are particip participating in his suffering. And we are going through, uh, through his death because as we sing in Resurrection Traparion, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. Jesus is conquering the death but he, by his death. And he's leading us to resurrection. He is giving us the new birth. He is giving the birth to humanity there on that cross, suffering. And I was reading this gospel because beneath the cross there was his mother. And on the cross that Jesus gave his mother to his beloved disciple, John, and in him to all of us, she became our mother. She is the mother of mercy. For that reason, the Pope Francis, when he was, uh, was opening the year of mercy, he wanted to have the image of Virgin Mary in Jesus uh, that is called the doors of mercy. Its image, its icon, is taken from, comes from Cathedral of Ukrainian uh, Greek Catholic Church in, in Polish city uh, of Yaroslav, the icon which takes its name from um, our Byzantine liturgical uh, text 
that is a is really interesting prayer. Open to us the doors of mercy, O blessed Mother of God, that we who place our hope in you may not perish, but through you we may be delivered from misfortune. For you are the salvation of all Christians. Sometimes we think that if someone has a special graces of God, he doesn't suffer. He doesn't have a problems in his life. Even sometimes we think in the same way. If I am going to the church, if I am going to the confession, if I am receiving the Holy Communion, God has to give me a red carpet to heaven that I can uh, joyfully, with glory, walk in my journey to heaven. The Mary, as Gabriel, when he announced her uh, in time of uh, Annunciation, when he came, he greeted her uh, full of grace. She was the full of grace. But even being the mother of Jesus, she goes through the suffering. After the birth of Jesus, she has to flee to Egypt. During the, his teaching, I think, as a mother, uh, she was receiving the news about Jesus and many times. Uh, it wasn't ple pleasant news for her. And in today's reading that, uh, of the Gospel from John, she was she stood on, uh, beside the cross of Jesus. She was walking on his way of the cross. For that reason, because she gave the birth to Jesus, who is God's, who, who shows us the face of mercy. For that reason, she can be truly called the mother of mercy because she she is that door doors of mercy through her through her womb that body of Jesus that she offered to him could be our atonement, our expiation uh, for all our faults and sins. In the on the cross, Jesus gave her to us as our mother. I think right now in heaven, in that glorified uh, church, she's praying for us. She's worrying about us. She is waiting for us. Because in the resurrection of Jesus, the heaven is open to us. We receive that great God's mercy uh, of eternal life with our God. It's really interesting that saints understood so deeply 
those words that Jesus said on the cross, Behold, your mother. They so deeply accepted the mother of Jesus as their own mother. After this, Jesus saw that he accomplished his mission in this world. And right now, we are called as a disciple of Jesus walking with him in our own journey to heaven to accept joyfully the mother of Jesus as our own mother. Even the greatest pope, the the greatest saint in our time, Saint John Paul II, he completely recommended himself to a mother of God. Tatus tus. I'm wholly, totally yours. And we see how deeply, how profoundly he was walking his own Christian life. Even with that great vocation that he had to be a Catholic leader, to be a head of the church as a Peter, because he was under protection of Mary, walking, journeying to that heavenly city, Jerusalem, as we are singing uh, in our resurrection mountains, shine, shine, new Jerusalem. We are called to accept not just Mary, but to accept all the saints who already are there in heaven with Jesus. Because we are joined to that place. Because we would like to enter into that eternal life. Let us recommend ourselves completely in our own journey to Jesus by the prayers of Mary in our journey to our Father, Heavenly dwellings. In the end, let us pray. Today we see the precious cross of Christ placed before us. Let us venerate it in joy as we bow before it. And let us beseech the Lord who was crucified on it, that he may grant us 
the grace to contemplate his holy and glorious resurrection. Today, the word of the prophet is fulfilled. Behold, we bowed before your footstool, O Lord, having tasted the tree of salvation. We have been freed from our passions and sin by the prayers of the Mother of God. Amen. Slava Jesus Christ. I would like to thank you, all of you, that you walk with me this Lenten uh, reflection, Lenten retreat. May God bless you and, see, uh, and pour out on you all his merciful graces. Glory be to Jesus Christ. I want to cordially thank Father Yuri for his missions. And the best gift for the priest is pray for remembrance. So I invite all of you and ask all of you to keep him and his pastor, the people back in Ukraine where he is a pastor in the church by the provincial house, for the great gifts for him, that me, he might share his knowledge, his ability with them. So thank you very much, and have may God bless you. Amen. <laughs>